Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode number 53. Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. Uh, today is going to be a relatively short episode just because I haven't done a lot. I do have one finished object and one practically finished object. And um, my only whip I'm going to be showing today is my Mandela Madness because everything else is on pause until I get that done. I have to get that finished like as quickly as possible. It's I'm running out of time for it. My laptop's also dying, so gotta hurry. <laughs> But I'm just going to go ahead and hop into my finished objects and whips. And I'm going to talk a little bit about my Etsy store and Knit Creek. <laughs> so first I want to welcome everybody back. Um, welcome to all the new subscribers. That I've had a few new ones. And welcome back to all the returning subscribers. I am in the bedroom today because Devin is off work. And he's in the living room with Jesse and they're playing. So I needed to film in here where it's a little bit quieter. <laughs> but yeah, so my, my only 100% finished object is a Christmas ornament. Oh dang, I forgot the book. I got it out of a book. I'm going to insert a picture of the book because I forgot to bring it in here. It's a book that I got at uh, our local thrift store for like under a buck. Uh, it's an old collection of Christmas, or um, not ornaments, but crochet patterns. And this was in it. I tried finding it online so that I could like link back to it, but I uh, couldn't find it anywhere online. So I'll just show you the book. <laughs> and uh, I also have the book typed up on my Ravelry page for this. But here's my Christmas ornament. It's on a glittery white bauble. It kind of looks like a styrofoam ball, but it's not. In person, you can tell it's glittery. And it's got a tassel. <laughs> the tassel is also part of this pattern. But it's just a, a shell stitch uh, pattern around the bauble. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Up to about right here, you just make it and then you, you put the ball into it. And then you finish crocheting around it up to the top. And... Um, that was kind of a painful process, but uh, I think I would like to make more of these, and I'm sure it gets easier with the more you make them. But the the thread that I used, I got on clearance recently at Walmart. It's Red Heart um, cotton thread. I can't remember exactly what it's called. I forgot to write it down. <laughs> but um, it's just a yellow thread. I know it's the size 10 thread. And I used an e-hook, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, an e-hook. Yeah, and I like the little tassel. This thread is super stiff, though. Look at that. Just at the door. But I think it'll be cute. I'm going to enter this into the fair and hang on my Christmas tree. And I do want to make more, but I don't like how stiff the tassel is. But, um, it's so cute. <laughs> I just got to get one of those little hook thingies to hang it with. Yeah, that's my 100% finished item. I do have an almost completely finished item. This is my Magikarp hat, and it is called, what is it called? Carpe Diem Useless Goldfish Monster Hat by a name I can't say, but it will be linked in the description below. It is a free pattern. Warning, though, this pattern has a lot of mistakes in it, and the designer hasn't fixed any of them. Uh, if you go to their Ravelry page, there's people in the comments section talking about it, and as far as I know, the designer hasn't responded. But other people have kind of fixed the pattern and posted it on there. So I was able to finish it. I did use the tail from another pattern. And I winged the uh, fins. The other fins. The yellow ones. But the hat is all done except for the little stringy things that comes out of his face. They're like barbels or something like that. But here is my Magikarp hat. All done. <laughs> it's hard to hold. He's got fins. I did hold two strands together to make these the size they needed to be for him. But yeah, that's pretty much what he looks like. <laughs> I think he's awesome. I can't wait till Autumn gets here and I can wear him on the Pokemon Community Days. I'm thinking about um, stuffing this so that it stands up. And then I just got to make the little stringy things that hang off of him but I think it looks pretty cool I'm, I'm happy with it and it's for myself so there are mistakes in it but no one knows but me and you guys know but yeah I think he's cute <laughs> I gotta make Devin a Pikachu one now and I'll be starting that maybe in this ne next coming week I only have 15 more rounds on my Mandala Madness so I know I'll be done before the fair but I want to focus on it more and try to get it done but yeah, that's my awesome cool hat. I love this hat. <laughs> I can't wait to wear it um, during Pokemon Community Days. Which actually today was one of those. But it was too hot, way too hot to wear this. 
But yeah, that's my almost completely finished object. It's just got those little things and I need to um, make their eye cords and I don't really want to crochet an eye cord and I don't have a nitty naughty so I'm, I'm just going to wing it somehow. I'm going to do something to, um, one person had theirs just braided yarn. I might do that just to make it simple because making eye cords is kind of a pain in the butt. But yeah, oh, I will forget the yarns. The yarns that I used is all Red Heart Super Saver. It's Red Heart Super Saver, Light Raspberry, Carrot, White and Black, uh, and this is Gold. But yeah. It's a nice hat. It's just the pattern was horrible. If I ever do make another one of these, I'm going to be definitely using a different pattern. Because that one was, it was just painted, but there's a lot of errors in it. And they were fixable errors, but... It was kind of annoying, you know, when someone publishes a pattern, it needs to not have errors in it, I think. But, I like it either way. Alright, now I'm only going to show you one whip. I do have another whip, and that's my Halloween blanket. But I've not worked on it at all since the last time I showed it. Because, like I said, everything's on pause until I get the Mandala Madness done. So I'll show you the Mandala Madness real fast. And then we'll get into the other stuff I want to talk about. i got to get up, it's huge. It's still attached to yarn. My hair looks crazy. It was wet when we left, so it, it, it dried in that heat air, so it's kind of crazy. Oh gosh, look. There it's touching the ground. I'm 5'7", so it is that tall. <laughs> That's as good as I could show it. <laughs> I don't remember what I last showed. I think I was in the white last time. Maybe this red. I'm working on the green row now. Here it is. I just started it. So I'm working on the green row. This is the 97th round and there's 111. So that's how close I am to finishing. <laughs> so pretty. It is so heavy. Oh, it is so heavy. <laughs> um, so far there are almost two whole skeins of red there's almost two whole skeins of white there's two whole purple skeins two whole orange two whole yellow almost two whole green and almost two whole blue <laughs> in there there's a lot of yarn in this blanket it is huge this is it folded in half I don't even know. It's right now. It's probably like six pounds. That's heavy for a blanket. Lay that back there. <laughs> but that is the Mandala Madness by Helen Shrimpton. It is a free pattern. It was a crochet along, so it's broken up into eighteen parts, and each part is like six-ish um, rounds. So it's pretty cool. I like that it's broken up like that because it doesn't make it so int intimidating. But I'm, I'm slowly getting done with it, and I'll, I can't wait to finish it, and I can't wait to enter in the fair. I'm, I'm looking forward to, like, showcasing it and letting people look at it. <laughs> but, yeah, that's all my whips that I'm working on. Because, like I said, I do have the Halloween blanket and two corner-to-corner -corner blankets that I'm not working on right now because of the fair. And there are some things I want to make for the fair, but I don't know if I'm going to get them in. It depends on how quickly I can get that Mandela Madness done. But, um, that's all of my whips and foes. <sighs> Catch my breath. <laughs> um, I do have a lot of acquisitions this last week, but most of them I showed in my vloggist episodes. So if you're interested in that, you can go back and look at them. This is one that I just wanted to show again. It's a material acquisition I'm going to be making some bags with soon. Uh, because I'm about to talk about bags, so I wanted to just go ahead and show you this too. I think this is so adorable. Oh, it's upside down. A little sheep in a field and there's a little bee and little flowers it's just really cute i'm probably going to make two project bags of this and maybe one or two um notions pouches super cute this will be going to shop pretty soon i can't exactly say when <laughs> but pretty soon all right i didn't want to talk about my bags i have a bunch still listed in my shop and all of august uh everything in my shop is 20 percent off i have stitch markers notion pouches and project bags so I wanted to I grabbed all my project bags I wanted to just kind of hold them up and show them to you guys so that you can get an idea of the size of them and the same with the notion pouches so I'm just gonna start at the top 
this one does come with a this is a set it comes with a bag and a um, notions pouch and these are all listed right now so if you're interested you could, you could hop over and um, check them out but this is this is a fairly good sized bag you know it's a drawstring they're all drawstring the project bags <laughs> With just flowers on it and it does have a notions pouch with it it's a zipper and they are uh lined they're they're interface but it's a really light interfacing it's not super stiff but it is better than just material and then i have a princess a disney princess one it's the back of it this is the front and there is a matching notions pouch they're not sold together but you can buy them separate or together it's up to you and let's see, where else do I got? A Ninja Turtle one. I love this one. This is a smaller bag. It's a little cheaper because it's smaller. But it's the Ninja Turtles. And there's also a Notions pouch that matches that. It's got a purple. I love this purple because Donatello is my favorite turtle, so it matches with him. The inside of that's just red. I thought it went good. And then I got two Snoopy bags. One is box bottom. Snoopy and it's got Snoopy and Woodstock on it <laughs> and then one is kind of a sack bag but it's kind of boxed also it is squared off at the bottom it would look you could see it better if there was something in it <laughs> but these are larger bags so these would be better good for big projects I don't have any notion pouches that match that right now but I do have material to make them I just have to do it then I got another super women one this is a box bottom bag and it's got purple on the inside. There's also a notions pouch that matches that. I think it's purple on the inside. No, it's black on the inside. It's got a blue zipper. Uh, this is just a random notion pouch. I don't have a uh, bag to match this. I think I do have material though, so I could probably make one. It is, it's got like a pattern on the inside. Well, you can see it's houndstooth. It's like blue and white houndstooth. All right, now I got three bags, I think. Yeah, made with this material. This is Marvel themed material. This is a small size bag. This would be good for like socks or a little amigurumi. It's blue. This is a sack one, so this is a little bit bigger. Just got Marvel characters on it, and it's black on the inside. And then the third one is like a medium sized box bottom and it is black also and I do have a couple notion pouches that match those two different ones <laughs> and then this little bag this one's been in the shop for a while so I may mark its price down soon it's just little cowboys and it's got a blue inside I love this bag. If no one buys this anytime soon, I think I'm just going to take it off my shop and keep it. But it's a Mickey Mouse. So cute. It's like vintage Mickey Mouse. And it's yellow on the inside. And it has a yellow ribbon. And then I have a Flamingo bag. <laughs> this is a smaller size, so it is cheaper. It's got white on the inside. And then the last project bag that I have posted right now is a larger size Beauty and the Beast one. It's got like a burgundy color on the inside. It matches with this color right here. And then I do have another Notions pouch, just a flamingo one. <laughs> I had a bag that matched this, but Cindy bought it. It's pink on the inside. Ah, my bags are rolling. <laughs> But yeah, that's all the bags in my shop in like a rough, you know, so you can see the size of them if you're interested. Like I said, they are all on sale right now until the end of August. 20% um, off, so that's pretty good. Um, the bags, most of them are I think $18 right now plus shipping. The smaller ones I think are $16-ish. And the Notion pouches are $8 right now um, with the sale. And stitch markers are very, but I've got quite a few different stitch markers on there. And a couple stitch marker sets, a really cute ocean themed one. Some little glass donuts, and I got some more chickens and pandas if anyone's interested. But yeah, so that sale's going on all of August. If you're interested, the link will be below. 
Now, Knit Crate. <laughs> Everybody has probably already seen uh, all the Knit Crate hoo-ha going on the last few days about the buy one get one free box. If you sign up through uh, an affiliates link, you can use the coupon code free Knit Crate to get last month's free and then get another this month's one. And uh, that's a really good deal because you're getting $121 worth of yarn and patterns for $29.99. And that includes your shipping, um, which is a really good deal. And this is the yarn that I got this month. I have a giveaway post that I will link above and maybe below if I can remember to giving this yarn away. It is a very beautiful yarn. Such pretty teal color and it's got black specks in it. And um, a lot of people got this color too, so that's cool. But uh, if you want to take advantage of that, you can use the link below to um, use that coupon code to get the last month's free, which was primary colors, and this month's uh, for the $24.95. And then the extra $5 is just the shipping for the last month one. But uh, that's a really good deal if you're interested, because this is really good yarn. It's, it's nice yarn. It's normally $24.99 a hank. <laughs> so that's a really good deal. And you get the patterns too. If you need help with that or if you go to the Knit Crate website and that ad doesn't pop up, I have a video that I will link above over there. <laughs> and I will um, link it below also showing you how to add them to your cart separately and then add the coupon code at checkout. And you want to make sure that when you add the coupon code that it does change your total to $29.99 before you actually purchase it so that you do get the discounted price. Um, the link below is an affiliate link. I will get a little kickback if you order anything through that link. But, my laptop just died. But, um, it doesn't come out of your pocket. It comes from Knit Crate. It doesn't change the price of the items you buy. It just helps the channel out. And I do use my Knit Crate money for the channel. I use it for um, giveaways and stuff like that. The patterns that I give away. I use that for it. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything I wanted to talk about, about Knit Crate and my Etsy store and my whips and my finished objects. So I guess that's about everything. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and get this edited and up because it is a daily. <laughs> uh, it's been rough these weekends because when Devin's off, I spend time with him and I don't get time to record until we come home. So we just got home a little while ago from the second day of the Eevee event on Pokemon Go. So um, we got a ton of shinies. I hope we can get all five of the evolutions <laughs> if you know what that is if you don't i probably sound like i'm speaking a different language but that's all right <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and clean up my mess from all my bags giving out check out my etsy store below and check out the knit crate link you can also buy yarn separately like if you bought last month or this month and you got two of these and you want one more to um make something else with something larger you can buy it through there uh in their shop section and uh, like this video if you liked it, share it if you think someone else will like it, and subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!